Mac Holiday of Holiday What TV. I celebrate holidays every single day. Did you know that August is Happiness Happens Month? It is, and tomorrow, the 8th, is Happiness Happens Day. Now, for many, many people around the world and through the beginning of time, happiness is defined by their faith. So what better person to have here today than this man, Jake Musselman of Sot Church. Give it up! Yes, yeah, thanks, man. Of course, of course, of course. So, uh, you are a sponsor, which we very much appreciate. Now, you were telling me earlier there are many, many preconceived ideas about churches that perhaps are just not exactly what Sot Church is about. But first, what are those preconceived ideas? Sure, there's this myth out there that all churches are kind of the same. So, all churches are uncaring or unthinking or hypocritical or judgmental, care about money. Uh, and what we're going to say is, man, not all churches are like that. In fact, we're not like that. And so, you may have had an experience before in church. Maybe you've never even been to church before, uh, but you've heard some things. Well, we're going to ask you to test that myth out and give us a shot, give us a try because not all churches are like that. So you are not like any of the churches that people have this idea about. So uh, you guys are unique, you said, to downtown Vegas. You're shaping yourselves around downtown Vegas? Yeah, we love this community. We love DTLV. We love you guys. Man, I've loved everything that's been on the podcast tonight. And so we're shaping a church that's unique for downtown. We want it to reflect uh, the people that live down here, live, work, and play. And so what it should be is that as we form this church and shape this church, it shouldn't fit in any other city. And it certainly shouldn't fit in Summerlin or Henderson, it should be unique and reflect mm. who we are here in downtown. Now there's a myth that is a big myth that people have that involves <laughs> these two things over here. Show them. We got some Pop Rocks and some uh, Coca-Cola tonight. Alright, now what do you want to do with them about this? You want to like dispel that myth I right wanna, here right I now? I want to break this myth right now. It could be scary. I mean, it's going to be dangerous for somebody. Okay, well who's that somebody? What audience person wants to come out here and see if you will survive the Pop Rocks and Coke combination and we'll ruin that you? Yes. Come on down. Yes. Come, come on. on down. Yes, yes, come yes. Come on down. What uh, is your name, my friend? Paul. Paul, good Lovely to know you. Good to know you. Oh, nice to meet you. Sorry, did you say the Sock Church? Sock Church. S O U G H T. Oh, not Sock. Not Sock. No. I mean, not I'm always, Sock. I'm always losing my socks. So. Socks optional. Okay. okay. Socks optional. So. That's why your church is so cool. All right, so. Um, the myth here. The myth right. is. You, put, you tell them the myth. All right, so the myth is that if you eat Pop Rocks and drink a soda at the same time, your head or some other body part will explode. Okay, so I'm from Australia. I haven't really seen Pop Rocks Oh, before. well, this is great yes, for you. Yes. All right, yes. perfect. This is fantastic. In fact, when Pop Rocks first came out, they had to set up special hotlines for parents because they were so worried about it. Oh, So really? what yeah. we want you to do is dump the whole thing in. Are these legal outside of Nevada? Yeah. Oh yeah, they're, yeah, yeah, they're legal. <laughs> all, all around. Sure, they are. They're legal. <laughs> Whatever, yeah. Uh, so, so what we want you to do, yeah. dump the whole thing in your mouth, what and the then hell? take a big old gulp of that soda. Let's see what happens. Let's see you, if you live. Let's see if you live. Let's see if you pass. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, the directions are very, very clear. <laughs> you just put it in the mouth, the whole thing. There you go, there you go. And now you drink the soda at the no. same time. Yeah, okay. Go for it. Chug that thing. <laughs> Keep going. More, more. <laughs> I think he's Good. living. All right, he's, he's still alive. I mean, that's even okay, more that's, than you asked for. Now enough. you're showing off. I like it. Yeah. Wow, they're poppy. They're poppy. With the soda, you're doing yeah. good. They're, they're, Thank and you. And you're still here. Wait, when do I go back? Open your mouth. Yeah. Oh. Open blocked? your mouth. Ah. Uh. And that was an anticlimactic ending. Thank you very much for your participation. Now you can go away. Thank you, thank you. We appreciate you and all of your efforts. All right, so um, anyway. So hey, tonight on your way out, we've got Pop Rocks and Soda for all of you. We're giving you a chance to try the myth. How nice is that? And, uh, yes. And then at the same time, give us a try. Test it out. Yes, yes, yes. So Jake, I don't know if I should tell you this. You may not like to. You may not like to know this, Jake. But on April seventeenth, there was a podcast that I did back in eighteen oh five. The Room. Remember when it was in eighteen oh five? Remember those days? I'm not gonna say the good old days. These days are better at the scullery. I'm just saying it's good to be here. Nobody. Yeah. Nobody. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. All right. Um. So back on on April seventeenth, there was a holiday. The holiday was Ask an Atheist Day. 
yes. And I said, who here is an atheist? And I swear to God, true story, <laughs> everyone raised their hand except for like, no, they don't? Okay, uh, well, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Okay, um, so anyway, so like all but two people did not raise their hand. Sure. So like, this is maybe like an atheistic, that's the word crowd. So how would you speak to the atheists? How would you like say, why should they come to Sot Church? Yeah, I think there's some common things that we're all seeking in life. So we all seek things like joy and happiness. We seek meaning and purpose. We seek life. And we want to have conversations around those ideas. I think we can all get on board with that. I think a lot of us would agree that there's a spiritual side to us. There's something that can't be x-rayed or show up on an MRI. There's something that connects you and I and to uh, the larger world around us. Well, let's have a conversation about that. Let's talk about the community that we love and I think we can find a lot of common ground there. Who has a spiritual side to them? Yes, anybody? Oh, that's good. That's a lot of hands. All right, so we got some spiritual atheists in the house. That's really good. I like it. So um, give us the fundamentals of Sot Church. Where right now could we find meetings and things? Sure, right now we're doing online gatherings every Sunday morning at 11 a.m. So you can uh, get onto the internet and Join us for a gathering right in your bathrobe in your living room and hang out. And uh, there's a gathering there. There's a chat where you can log in and be a part of the conversation and check out what's going on. And it includes a, a small talk. We're also uh, doing things throughout the community. We love to volunteer with all of the great organizations that we have in this community. And then we get together in downtown all the time. And so nice. you can find out uh, all that information on our website, SotChurch.com. It'll connect you with our Facebook page and Twitter and all of that very cool stuff. <laughs> yes, and that's online right now, but there's big news coming up in the fall. In the fall, live services coming up in the fall. Live, live services gatherings. in the fall time. That's yeah. exciting, all the people. So um, do, you, do, you, do you have a location yet for that? That's yeah, that. uh, no, we don't have, it's to be announced and to be determined, but we are getting ready and gearing up for the fall. And so we'll get together and meet face to face. It'll be a chance for us to really connect with one another, connect with God. It'll be a chance for us to bring some inspirational things together. There's so much creativity uh, here in downtown and we want to be able to highlight that and bring all of us together. We'll share some coffee and some donuts and hang out together on Sunday mornings. I love what better way to do community in downtown Las Vegas is all about community. That's all the time we got. Thank you so much, Jake. Yeah, thanks Sons, a lot, man. Church. Happy holidays! <laughs>